Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel as we dive into a new week that promises to be something, I guess, exciting. I mean, remember, we are running out of time in terms of the event quest. We have a new winter of woe on Wednesday. So for those of you that haven't done it, start <laughs> building up those revives. Event quests, again, two days. And then how about this? How about uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow we get our official first look at the new featured six-star crystal as that is uh, refreshing in less than 24 hours. And then we get new daily cards that are available, and which is uh, a tradition now. The Monday after the month starts. This is two Tier 6 Class Catalyst Selectors. This is 5,000 Seven Star Shards. And up to half of a Tier 4 Alpha for 40 bucks. The Tier 4 Alpha is slowly becoming more common. They'd given us a 10% of one for the first several months, which was nothing. And you can see that I'm exactly one half toward forming one, but I have zero right now. So if I got this, it'd be 40 bucks to form one, which is what, one third of what I need, 33% to my next rank three seven star. And the two tier six class catalyst selectors are pretty awesome until you consider that for that same price, you get seven days worth of daily specials, which right now include rune stones, and we assume that's going to be a big deal for that seven-star Nightcrawler chase. And when you go to especially the Valiant, and I realize a lot of you aren't Valiant, but a lot, the Valiant stamp card gives you 100% of a Tier 6 Class Callist Fragment Selector split over into two 50% selectors. So this is double that, and 5,000 seven-star shards, but nothing else. And keep in mind those daily specials are not, of course, just about the stamps. And they give you 1,000 seven-star shards, uh, I believe, on the website. So seven days worth of that is 7,000 seven-star shards compared to 5,000. You don't get tier four alpha, but you still get... 10% of a selector per day. So really, over the course of seven days, it's still the same amount of selectors. You get 200%. 100% of them in the stamp store, if you so choose, and 100% of them over the course of seven days. And then most notably, instead of the tier four alpha, you get way more than seven shots, because I don't even count the Paragon Crystals. They're like the fortune cookie with the American Chinese food meal uh, with the check. But you do get seven chances at a seven-star nexus or a 2.5% drop rate for a seven-star combined between the 2% drop rate for the seven-star champ, which I got a seven-star sunspot, my very first one, talk about rig, and a 0.5% chance for a seven-star nexus. So all in all, Kabam has a daily card versus daily special problem because if the daily special wasn't so good, I'd be more tempted to buy this, but I'm going to get better value for everything with the tier four alpha, which I'm still so far away from. I, I don't even really care about factoring that in. It's not enough for me to buy it. I get for the people who care most about keeping up with the most rank threes and battlegrounds or everything else, they're going to do it, but I don't. Domino going from rank two to rank three is not worth this cash. So I am going to spend this cash over the course of this week on seven daily specials, and I'm still going to save myself five bucks. Because that's seven times five, 35 bucks, five bucks less than this. So Kabam's got to start realizing the economy of the game has changed forever. And when I say that, it's not just so that people can make it a legal drinking game and take a shot or something. It's because every time the economy evolves, if you don't evolve everything else with it, the value just goes down. This, a month ago, was probably a B. Now I give it a C- because of that economic change. I would have bought this a month ago. 
because of this. Now, I'm good. I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to go for the second month in a row and not get a 30-day daily card. And Kabam could have had my money if it had been better or if they'd waited a week to do the Daily Valiant special buff, I guess. Either way, I'm going to give this a C-. And uh, I look forward to seeing what the other progression levels look like. Until next time, have a good one.